Hello everyone and welcome to computer vision tutorials. In this brief computer vision tutorial we explain how to install the you only look once or YOLO computer vision model on Linux Ubuntu. In this tutorial we install YOLO version 11. However, everything explained in this tutorial works for older or newer versions of YOLO, that is versions after January 2025 when this video is created. The YOLO algorithm can be used for standard operations in computer vision, object detection, segmentation, classification, pose estimation, as well as for other computer vision tasks. But before we start with explanation, here is a brief demonstration of the YOLO algorithm. Over here you can see the image that I took in my apartment, namely I randomly placed objects on the table and I used my phone camera to take this row photo. Then, this row photo is sent as an input to the YOLO algorithm and the task of the YOLO algorithm is to automatically detect the objects on this image. And you can see the performance. YOLO was able to detect book, cup, scissors and toothbrush. And this is really good performance taking into account that this is a raw image and that the angle might not be the optimal one. Still, we were able to recognize most of the objects. In fact, it's very difficult to classify this object, this object and this object for several reasons. First of all, you can see that this cutter over here has color that's very similar to the background then it's very difficult to properly recognize what is this thing over here however over here it's a toothbrush now maybe the YOLO or particular model that I downloaded is not trained for or does not include these objects in the training data set that might be one issue still this is a very good performance and again this image is not used to train the YOLO model. I downloaded the YOLO model coefficients from the internet and I just provided this raw image as an input. This is very important to keep in mind. First, we explain the prerequisites which are necessary for running YOLO locally and for installing PyTorch CUDA version. First of all, you need to have the Python version from 3.9 until 3.12. This is mainly necessary for installing the PyTorch CUDA version locally. Namely, PyTorch CUDA version requires Python from 3.9 until 3.12. If you are watching this video tutorial after January 2025, then it might be possible to install PyTorch CUDA version on Python 3.13 or later. The best strategy is to go to the PyTorch CUDA website and check the prerequisites and I will explain this later in the tutorial. Then Python comes with Ubuntu 22.04 and 24.04. In fact, with Ubuntu 22.04 you will most likely get Python 3.10. On the other hand, with Ubuntu 24.04 you will most likely get Python 3.12. However, it's not a big problem to install even on Ubuntu 22.04, Python 3.12. Now, then, you can run YOLO on CPU only. However, we suggest to run it on a GPU. You should have an NVIDIA GPU which supports CUDA. Then you need to have Linux Ubuntu 22.04 or 24.04. Ok, let's start with installation. The first step is to open a terminal and search for terminal. Then I'm going to resize this window such that you can follow what I'm typing and at the same time you can read the manual over here. The first step is to verify that you have the proper Linux version. For that purpose you need to execute this command and as you can see over here I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. Then the next step is to check the Python version. If Python is installed and Python should be installed since after installing Ubuntu Python should be automatically installed you should run this command and as the output you should see 
3.10 or 3.12 if you're running the code on Ubuntu 24.04. The next step is to install Git and Git support for large files on Linux Ubuntu. Before you install any program or a package on Linux Ubuntu, it's first very important to update and upgrade all the packages in your system. So run these two commands and be patient. Then after some time you will be asked do you really want to install everything since additional space will be reserved on your disk, press yes and wait. This might take a while. Actually, I didn't update Ubuntu on this system maybe for a month and consequently that's why I have one gigabyte of updates. Next, we need to install git and git support for large files. To install git, execute this command. To install git support for large files, execute this command over here. Good. Next, we need to initialize git for large scale files. We need to run these two commands as sudo and without sudo, just in case. Good. The next, pay, the next step is to create a workspace folder and the Python virtual environment. So let's navigate to the home folder by typing this. Then let's create in the home folder a folder called YOLO or test YOLO make their test YOLO, then let's navigate to test YOLO and over here let's make sure that the command for creating Python virtual environments is installed. We can install this command by running this line. Over here if you're using Python 3.12 simply change this line to Python 3.12. I'm running Python 3.10, consequently I have there 3.10. And here it is. Next, let's create a Python virtual environment. To create a Python virtual environment, we need to type this. Let me now do this. And over here you need to be patient. And then let's activate the Python virtual environment. We activate it like this. Good. Over here you should see that the Python virtual environment is activated. The next step is to install the necessary libraries. First of all, we need to install setup tools. So let's run this. OK, so setup tool is already satisfied. And the next step is to install PyTorch CUDA version. For that purpose, go to this page pytorch.org get started locally or simply search pytorch CUDA installed you will be directed to this web page then scroll all the way down and use this selection table I want to install the stable version I'm on Linux I'm using pip I'm having Python as a programming language and over here I will select CUDA you also have some other versions of CUDA Let's select CUDA 12.4 and let's execute this command over here. And this should install Torch, Torch Vision and Torch Audio. And over here it might take some time to install Torch. In my case the installation will be quick since I'm using the cached version from my disk. Namely I often install or uninstall PyTorch. Consequently PyTorch is already downloaded on my computer and it's installed from my local computer. However, in your case, you'll see the download process and it might even take four to five minutes to install PyTorch. The next step is to install YOLO. To install YOLO, we need to execute this command. And here it is. What this command will do, it's going to run pip install it will in any case try to install git all, although we already installed git and it's going to install this package from this github repository or actually the complete YOLO together with all prerequisites that is with all the required libraries and Python pa packages and here it is. So it might take a while to install everything. While YOLO is being installed we need to do another thing. We need to take an image. 
In my case, I'm going to take the image that I already took. Namely, here is my test image. It's a raw image or raw photo taken by my phone. However, if you don't have an image on your computer, simply take your phone and take an image. Or you can use my image. I'm going to provide this image in the description below this video. So let's copy this image. Then let's find our home folder. Then let's find the workspace folder. It's being created now. Here it is. And let's copy this image over here. And that's it. And after the pip install command is executed, we can start with coding. Here you need to open your favorite Python editor. In my case, I will be using Visual Studio Code. However, you can use any other editor. In fact, if you want to use a Visual Studio Code on Linux Ubuntu, I created a separate video tutorial on how to install Visual Studio Code in Linux Ubuntu. A link will be provided in the description below. So let's start Visual Studio Code. Click yes over here, then I'm going to create a new file and I will call the file as test.py. And here I'll need to save this file in the workspace folder. And over here I'm going to paste the content of the file. Let's explain this file line by line. First of all, I need to import YOLO. Then over here I need to create my model. I'm creating model from a pre-trained set of parameters. Namely, this function over here is going to download this model called YOLO11L.pt. Here you have several options. You have model called YOLO11N, model called YOLO11S, YOLO11M and YOLO11L. So what's the difference between these four models? This first model is the smallest one, then this is the larger one, then the larger one, and the largest one. Of course, the largest one should give you the best performance. And over here, for illustration, I'm using the largest one. Then over here, I'm feeding to my model the test image, and know that this test image is saved in the workspace folder, and at the same time, this file is saved in the same folder, so when I execute this Python file, this Python file will be able to see this image. Then the inference will happen. YOLO will perform object detection. However, note over here that nowhere I said explicitly to YOLO perform object detection. By default, if you don't provide any additional parameter, YOLO will perform object detection. Keep in mind that if you want to, for example, do segmentation or some other operation such as pose estimation, you need to provide over here an additional parameters. Once the results are generated, we need to process the results. Here in this for loop, we create the box boxes, masks, key points, probs, OBB. We show the results on the screen and we save the results, that is the processed image in the file called result.jpg. And that's it. Simple as that. Let's run this code. To run this code, we need to tell to Visual Studio Code to use the Python virtual environment. To do that, press and hold Control, then Shift, then P, then click here on Python Select Interpreter. Make sure that you select the Python interpreter inside of the virtual environment and click over here to run the code. And here it is. First of all, you can see that the model is being downloaded. And then you can see the statistics here and you can see the final image. You can see that the cup, book, toothbrush and scissors are properly being detected, which is really nice. And then I can close this image. Then if I go here, if I go to home, if I then go to my workspace folder, here it is, you will see the resulting image and you can include it on your website or in your student report. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.